So now let's talk about yung force of fluids on of fluid jets. Okay, force of fluid jets. So I have a figure here na merong fluid katama sa isang let's say metallic vein or kahit anong material. So ang mangyayari dun sa fluid ma madadivert yung yung kanyang direction. At bakit siya nadadivert? Because the vein exerts a force on the fluid. So, let's call that F prime. That, that is the force exerted by the vein on the fluid. So, yung fluid natin is my constant uh, density. You know, consider natin dito. And then, yung discharge niya is represented by Q. So, how to analyze these kinds of problems? We, we will analyze this by using yung relationship na yung impulse ay equal sa change in momentum. Impulse is equal to the change in momentum. At yung impulse, kung maalala mo sa physics, that is force times the time. F prime times time. At ang momentum naman, momentum is mass times velocity. So dahil change in momentum to, mass times final velocity. Yan ko ng arrow sa taas, no? dahil vectors yan. Minus mass times initial velocity. So, ito ang governing equation natin sa impulse and momentum. I-apply natin to dito, pero i-arrange lang natin para medyo in terms of uh, fluid units siya. If I divide everything by time, I will get a prime. So, mass over time, tapos magiging ganito, di ba? And remember, mass over volume, yan yung density, or mass is density times volume. So, palitan natin yung mass ng density times volume. We will get ganitong form ng equation. So, density, volume of time, uh, times yung difference or yung change in velocity. Yung volume over time, yan yung volume discharge natin. Tama, di ba? V over T yan yung charge. Therefore, Yung F prime is rho Q, uh, then yung difference nung difference ng velocities. That is the force exerted by the by the vein or force exerted by the vein on the fluid. Now, if we get the free body diagram of the vein, ito yung vein natin. Kung merong force na ina-apply yung vein dun sa fluid, syempre yung fluid, meron ding force na ina-apply doon sa vein. Let's call that F. At using, di ba, yung third law ni Newton, yung F natin must be equal sa F prime, pero negative dahil opposite direction sila. So, ibig sabihin, yung F, or the force exert na ina-apply ng fluid doon sa vein, is equal sa negative nung F prime negative, rho Q, uh, then the difference nung velocities nila. So, ito yung basic equation na gagamitin natin, nasusundan natin para sa pagsusod ng mga fluid jet problems. So, ito, example. Uh, example natin, we have a fixed vein. Ibig sabihin, yung vein natin hindi move. So, ito yung mga values. May initial velocity tayo na 10 meters per second. Ang discharge is 1 cubic meter per second. It's water. So, ang kanyang density is 1,000 kilograms per cubic meters. And yung vein natin has an incline or dinedeflect niya yung tubig natin ng 30 degrees. That's why we call this angle the deflection angle sa mga veins. Okay. Deflect niya pataas. Ang um, problem is to find the force on the vein and we are to neglect friction. Ibig sabihin lang ng neglect friction is that walang frictional losses within the vein, nagsaslide lang siya. Ibig sabihin, yung final velocity natin, mananatili siya as 10 meters per second. As it's equal doon sa initial. So, yun yung, ibig sabihin ng neck friction. Now, from our basic equation na, na nakuha kanina, uh, yung force vector is equal to the density times discharge times yung difference nung uh, velocities natin. But, remember, we are operating with vectors. So, when operating with vectors, maganda, i-express natin sila in component form. So, una, 
uh, sa x direction oh ibig sabihin pag may vector hindi tayo basta-basta mag ma minus o mag-add tulad nito kailangan kunin natin yung components so at the x direction yung x component niya ay rho q okay x component ng final velocity minus x component ng initial uh, velocity so we substitute the values para makuha yung ganito. Ngayon, bago ko makalimutan, dapat pala may negative, no? Negative yung baso. Negative yan. So, fx is equal to 1,339. Okay, 1,339.75. 1,339.75 uh, newtons to the right positive. And we do the same para naman sa y direction. Okay, so kunin ang y components ng initial at saka final velocities. Substituting the values, we have negative 5,000 newtons or 5,000 newtons downward. So, ito yung components ng force ng fluid. So, sabihin niya yung components niya. Nakuha mo na yung components, of course, i-add mo lang sila and paano ba mag-add ng components ng forces? Siyempre, di ba, gagamitin lang natin yung sum of squares. So, fx is squared plus y squared. Therefore, yung magnitude ng force is equal to 5,176 uh, newtons. Then next, kunin natin yung direction. Paano kunin ng direction? Gamit tayo ng trigonometric function. Uh, let's say arc tangent. So, theta is at 75 degrees pag no? Below the x-axis. Axis. So, ito yung direction niya. So, that's how we solve for the force on the vane uh, exerted by the fluid. Gagamit lang tayo nung ito. Nung impulse and moment equation natin. Okay. Now, let us try to redo the example. Pero this time, gagamit ako ng uh, techniques using vectors. Okay, vector. Vector notation. So, sulat natin ulit, no? Yung force vector ay equal sa negative ng rho q final velocity minus initial velocity. So, the force vector, pwede mo nang isubstitute agad. No? Kung marunong kang gumamit ng mode sa calculator na using complex numbers, mga calculators natin, mga scientific calculators, merong ganito, yung complex numbers na mode, pwede mo na i-type agad, no? negative 1,000 times 1 yung discharge, and then ano to? Paano mo gagawin yung velocity? So, they are vectors. So, pag vectors, ita-type mo siya in the uh, radius angle form no vector. So, final velocity will be 10 at an angle of 30 degrees dahil naka-incline siya ng so 30 degrees. So, 10, 10, 30 degrees minus 10 initial at an angle of respect sa x-axis 0 degrees. Pag tinipe mo to sa calculator mo in yan kapag nakagantong mode ka uh, depende sa calcul mo no, kung paano mo kung paano mo i-enter yung complex number mode you will get the following, no? 1339.75 minus 5000 i. Yan. This is yung x component niya, and this is yung y component. And if you convert that into polar form, merong ganitong symbol, you convert to r angle theta. Yan. Ang ibig sabihin yan, convert this into polar form. So yung answer mo, convert mo the polar form, you will get the answer kanina na 5176.38 and at an angle of negative 75. Pwede natin tong gawin yung problems na jets or veins. No? Dahil we are operating with vectors, we can actually use yung complex mode sa calcul. Imbis na uh, pagiwalayin pa natin yung x and y component. Okay, next example is kapag yung vein natin, ang ginagawa niya, ini-split niya yung output natin sa dalawang magkaibang direction. 
So here is an example, no? Meron tayong 12 meters per second given yung diameter ng jet. So sa taas, 2 third nung discharge na pupunta sa baba yung natitirang 1 third at naka-incline din yung vein natin ng 60 degrees. So may split siya sa dalawang part. Pag ganito, kapag dalawa yung final uh, outputs natin, ang gagawin ko, modify ko lang konti yung equation. So, imbis na rho Q times Vf minus Vi, ang gagawin ko, it will be the summation nung QVF minus summation nung Vi. Uh, hindi ko nilabas yung Q dito, imbis na summation velocities. Kasi, nagbabari yung Q eh. So, iba yung Q dito. Dito, 2 third na lang siya. Pagdating sa baba, 1 third na lang siya. So, let's, let's use this equation. So before natin gawin to, kailangan alam muna natin yung mga Q. Yung given lang kasi dito yung diameter. So yung area ng jet sa umpisa, of course, is pi over 4 times 0 0.50 squared. At ang magiging Q niya is area times velocity. Itong area na to, pi over 4 times 0 0.15 squared. Times the velocity initial na 12. So you will get a Q is equal to na lang, no fraction, 27 over 400 pi cubic meters per second. So, yan yung discharge natin. Now, when solving, again, naka-vector notation yung forces and velocity. So, pwede yung paghiwalayin into components, but I prefer yung diretsyo na lang using yung calculators natin na naka-complex. So, again, uh, by the way, yung rho is water water yung fluid, we have negative 1,000 times summation ng mga final velocities. Final velocities natin saan? Q times final velocities. By the way, yung velocities natin na final, equal lang sila. Ang nag-vary lang is yung discharge. Again, neglecting friction, hindi magbabago yung magnitude no final velocities natin. 12 meters per second pa rin yan. So, we have summation ng final velocities times Q. So, yung una, ito muna, 2 third ng Q times yung kanyang velocity is 12 at an angle of 60 degrees plus, dahil isa sum up natin sila eh, 1 third ng Q and then 12 at an angle of, ito yon at an angle of 120 degrees and huwag kalimutang negative view. Negative 120 degrees dahil pababa siya ng x-axis. And then minus yung sa initial velocity naman. So Q times 12 sa angle of 0 degrees. So substitute yung values yung Q dito sa equation na to at huwag kakalimutan gamitin yung complex mode ng calculator ang makukuha nating answer no kapag ginawa mo na siyang polar form that's 2244.21 uh, newtons at an angle of angle of theta 160.9 degrees so ano no ang shortcut is using yung complex mode but anyway kung di mo alam gamitin you can do these equations uh, two times, isa sa x. So, gawin mong x lahat, isa sa y. Ganun lang. Like mo yung video kung ayos. Pag hindi, pag mo i-dislike, leave ka ng comment kung bakit, ha? Sige na, subscribe.